Welcome back everyone to day 23 of the Iguana Milling Challenge. Happy Friday, first Friday of the year. Hope the first week is going well for you if you're at work this week. Um, we are just gonna do a short little update today. As you see, the tool is at over 484 hours and we just saw on the stream, Stefan and Yannick Sesha down there at the last coin change and they have a checklist they go through, make sure everything's going well, and also checking the surface finishes of the coins once they're done. Surface finishes still look perfect, so it looks like the tool is nowhere near being done. And if you watch my update two days ago, I talked about Tesha needing the machine back uh, eventually. And so if the tool had made it until Monday, so the 10th of January, we were gonna stop the event have a little closing ceremony. Unfortunately, we need our independent third party that was there at the beginning of the event, Professor Dr. Thomas Soye, to inspect the tool and confirm to everyone that it's the same tool that we put in the machine. <clears throat> he unfortunately cannot make it on Monday, so he sent us this little video. Check it out. Hallo, vielleicht erinnern Sie sich noch an mich. Mein Name ist Thomas Säul. Ich durfte am 16. Dezember die Iguana Milling Challenge eröffnen. Und der Fräser läuft und läuft und läuft wie VW Käfer. Er ist einfach nicht kaputt zu kriegen. Der 16. Dezember, das war eindeutig vor Weihnachten. Das war eindeutig vor Silvester. Und ich wünsche Ihnen allen ein frohes und gesundes neues Jahr. Auf Ihr Wohl. Und der Fräser ist noch sowas von gesund. Deswegen haben wir gesagt, hey, wer viel Potenzial hat, wer was drauf hat, der muss in die Verlängerung reingehen. Also setzen wir noch mal 100 Stunden grob drauf und wir werden diese Challenge anstatt am 10.01. bis zum 14.01. laufen lassen. Wir sehen uns live bei der Firma Zecher und gucken, wie leistungsfähig das Ding ist. Bis dahin, alles Gute, tschüss zusammen. So, first of all, thank you, Professor, for that video. As he said, he cannot make it until Friday, so if my calculations are correct, if we ended on Monday, it would have been around 550 hours on the tool. Uh, Friday is going to be more around 650 hours on the tool if it makes it. So that's going to be our closing ceremony. Um, how the event continues, so, because it's gone so well, it's, you'll see the last design, it's a pause. So we, the, the first design was half of an iguana with a play sign for the start. The last design that we're going to mill starting on Thursday, uh, milling into Friday, is the other half of the iguana with a pause sign. So how the event goes on, goes further, we'll find out. I'm sure we'll think of something fun to do. If you have suggestions, let me know. Uh, but we really don't want it to end. We want to see how far we can push this tool. Um, there's going to be some more updates next week. Uh, as the session was closed Thursday and Friday, so yesterday and today, due to holiday. Um, so there's some last minute things we need to clarify, but we have a lot more to say next week. So make sure to check it out then. Until then, have a great weekend and see you all next week.